to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit in your infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. May the Lord hear you in the day of affliction. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from his holy place, and may he support you from Zion. May he remember every sacrifice of yours, and may your whole burnt offering be honored. May he give you according to your heart, May he fulfill all your counsel. We will greatly rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will be magnified. Now I know the Lord has saved his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is mighty. Some glory in chariots, some in horses. But in the name of the Lord, our God, we shall be magnified. Their feet were tied together, so they fell, but we rose up and were restored. O Lord, Savior, King, and hear us in the day we call upon you. O Lord, the King shall be glad in your power, and in your salvation he will greatly rejoice. You gave him his soul's desire, and you did not deprive him of his lips' request, for you anticipated him with blessings and goodness. You placed a crown of precious stones on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him. Length of days unto ages of ages, great is his glory in your salvation. Glory and majesty you shall place upon him, for you shall give him blessings unto ages of ages. You shall fill him with joy of your presence, for the king hopes in the Lord and in the mercy of the Most High. He will not be shaken. May your hand be found on all your enemies. May your right hand find all who hate you. You shall make them like a fiery furnace in the time of your presence. The Lord shall throw them into confusion in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. You shall destroy their offspring from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men. For they vented all their evils against you. They reasoned through a counsel they could not establish. For you shall make them turn their back among your remnants. You shall make ready your, their continents. Be exalted, O Lord, in your power. We will sing and praise your mighty deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The light is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries. And by virtue of your cross, preserve your habitation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As you were voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by your name. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by your power, granting them victories over their adversaries by bestowing on them invincible trophy, your weapon of peace, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion of dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions. O good and all grace, Theotokos, strengthen the lives of Orthodox Christians. Save those who have been called to govern us and bestow upon us all that victory which comes from heaven. For you gave birth to God, O only pure and blessed one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Tikon, for our Archbishop Daniel, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authority, and for the armed forces, and that we may live a calm and peaceful life in all piety and purity. Again, we pray for all our brethren and for all Christians. Merciful God and the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, creating an undivided trinity, always, now and ever. And on to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and will towards men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and will towards men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and will towards men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protect and my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept by a book, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at and at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation was of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chase him in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head, like a heavy burden they are on me. My wounds were foul and flesh because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desire is before you and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I am like a deaf man who does not hear, and I am like a man who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. 
For I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me, for my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and they will become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to me, O Lord, of my salvation. O my God, my God, I rise only to thee with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate and passable and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as with bare and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you at daybreak. For you are my helper and the shelter of your wings, I will greatly rejoice. My soul follow, follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised for the mouth that speaks of righteousness, things his thought. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord, for my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am come among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more. But they are removed from your hand. They lay me in the lowest pit in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your fellows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth, my eyes vacant from poverty. O oh Lord, I cry to you the whole day long, I spread out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O oh Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am pouring in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. Bless the Lord of my soul and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forgive not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things in your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he will to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. 
the Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty and strength to do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, all my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness, do not enter into judgment with your servant. For no one living shall be made righteous in your sight. For the enemy who persecuted my soul, he humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you were like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faints within me. Turn on your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the light of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tinkon, and for his eminence, our Archbishop Daniel, for the honorable priests of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this town of Suffield, the town of Mogador, for every city and countryside, and for all the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto the earth do our glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. My spirit rises early to seek you, O God, for your commandments are a light on the earth. Learn righteousness, all you inhabitants of the earth. Add evils upon them, O Lord, add evils upon the glorious ones of the earth. Let us bow down in fear before the 
judge of all, singing the triumphant hymn. Your hands weave unrighteousness. 
Sinners are alienated from the womb. From birth they are led astray. They speak lies. Their anger is according to the likeness of the serpent, like a deaf asp that stops its ears, which will not listen to the sound of charms, nor to an enchantment of a skillful charmer. God shattered their teeth in their mouths. The Lord broke the teeth of the lions. They shall pass along like water running through. He will bend his bow until they are weakened. Like melting wax, they will be destroyed. Fire fell on them, and they never saw the sun. Before your thorns are aware of its prickly shrub, he will swallow you up as if you were alive, as if in his anger a righteous man shall be glad when he sees the vengeance of the ungodly. He shall wash his hands in the blood of a sinner. A man will say, if indeed there is fruit for the righteous man, then he, then it is God who judges them on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Give us help from affliction, for the salvation of man is useless. 
but in God we shall work power, and he will utterly scorn those who afflict us. Hear my supplication, O God, and attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth I cried out to you when my heart was discouraged. You lifted me high on a rock. You guided me for you became my hope, a tower of strength from the face of the enemy. I will dwell in your tabernacle unto the ages. I will be covered with the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, hear my prayers. You give an inheritance to those who fear your name. You will add days to the days of the king, his years as to the days of generation to generation. He will abide before God forever, who will seek out his mercy and truth. So I will sing praise to your name unto ages of ages, that I may pay my vows day to day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and for the two ages of me.
I have never offered you acceptable gifts, nor divine actions, nor a pure sacrifice, nor an unblemished law. Like Cain, we too, a wretched soul, have likewise offered to the Creator of all foul deeds, defective sacrifice, and a useless life. Therefore, we too are condemned. In molding my clay into life, O Potter, you put in me flesh and bones, breath and vitality. But, O oh, my Creator, my Redeemer and Judge, accept me who repents. I confess to you, O oh, Savior, the sins I have committed and the wounds of my body and soul, which murderous thoughts like robbers within have inflicted upon me. I have sinned, O oh Savior, yet I know that you are the lover of men. You strike compassionately and pity warmly. You see me weeping and run towards me as the father recalling the prodigal. In old age even, O oh Savior, do not cast me out empty to hell as I lay prostrate before your gates. But before my end, in your love for men, grant me release of my fall. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am the one by my thoughts who fell among robbers, and now I am all wounded by them, full of sores. But stand by me, O Christ, my Savior, and heal me. Have mercy on me, O God. The priest saw me first and passed by on the other side. Then the Levite took a look at my sufferings and disdained my nakedness. But stand by me, O Jesus, who dawned out of Mary, and have compassion on me. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of all, take from me the heavy yoke of sin. And in your compassion, grant me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. It is time for repentance. I draw near to you, my Creator. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin. And in your compassion, grant me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Abhor me not, O Savior, cast me not away from your face. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion grant me release from my fall. All my sins, voluntary and involuntary, obvious and secret, known and unknown, forgive, O Savior, for you are God. Be merciful and save me. From my youth, O Christ, I have rejected your commandments. I have passed my whole life without caring or thinking as a slave of my passions. Therefore, O Savior, I cry to you, at least in the end, save me. I have squandered in profligacy my substance, O Savior, and I am barren of virtues and piety. But famished I cry, O Father of mercies, forestall and have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall prostrate before you, O Jesus. I have sinned against you. Be merciful to me. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion grant me tears of compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, Enter not into judgment with me by recording my deeds, demanding an account of my words, and examining my motives and desires. But in your compassion disregard my terrible past and save me 
O God of all, O Lord, the very grace you are for us. Grant me that illuminating grace from on high given you by divine providence, that I may escape the darkening of the passions and fervently sing of the thrilling achievements of your life, O Mary. By submitting to Christ's divine laws, you drew near to him, having left the unbridled craving for pleasure, and with all discretion, you achieved every virtue as God By your prayers, O Andrew, deliver us from degrading passions, and make us who with faith and love sing to you, partakers now of the kingdom of Christ. O renowned Father, we pray. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Super essential Trinity, adored in unity, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion grant me tears of compunction. Mother of God, hope and intercessor of those who sing of you, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and as you are pure lady, accept me who repents. Attend, O heaven, and I will speak, O earth, give ear to a voice repenting to God and singing praises to Him. Attend to me, O God, my Savior, with your merciful eye, and accept my fervent confession. I have sinned above all men, I alone have sinned against you. But as God have compassion, O Savior, on your creature. A storm of passions besets me, O compassionate Lord. But stretch out your hand to me too, as to Peter. The tears of the harlot, O merciful Lord, I too offer to you. Be merciful to me, O Savior, in your compassion. Mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have darkened the beauty of my soul with passionate pleasures, and my whole mind I have reduced wholly to mud. I have torn my first garment which the Creator wove for me in the beginning, and therefore I am lying naked. I have put on a torn coat which the serpent wove for me by argument, and I am ashamed. I have looked at the beauty of the tree, and my mind was seduced, and now I lie naked, and I am ashamed. All the demon chiefs of the passions have plowed on my back, and long has their tyranny over me lasted. I have lost my first created beauty and comeliness, and now I lie naked, and I am ashamed. Sin which stripped me of my former God-woven clothing has also sewn on me coats of skin. I am wrapped in a garment of shame as with fig leaves, 
in reproof of my selfish passion. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am clad in a coat that is spotted and shamefully bloodstained by the flow of my passionate and pleasure-loving love. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have stained the coat of my flesh and soiled what is in your image and likeness, O Savior, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fell under the burden of passions and corruption of matter, and from then until now I am oppressed by the enemy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having preferred a possessive and pleasure-loving life to spiritual poverty, O Savior, I am now harnessed with a heavy yoke. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have adorned the idol of my flesh with the many-colored clothing of shameful thoughts, and I am condemned. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have been anxiously concerned only about outward adornment, and have neglected the inner temple, Made in the image of God. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Having formed by, by my pleasure-loving desires the deformity of my passions, I have marred the beauty of my mind. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have buried with passions the beauty of the original image, O Savior. But seek and find it like the lost call. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like the heart that I cry to you, I have sinned, I alone have sinned against you. Accept my tears also, O Savior, as perfume. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have slipped and fallen like David through lack of discipline, and I am covered with filth, but wash me to O Savior with my tears. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Like the publican, I cry to you, be merciful, O Savior, be merciful to me. For no child of Adam has sinned as I against you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. No tears, no repentance have I, no compunction. But as God, our Savior, grant me thee. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Close not your door to me then, Lord, Lord, but open it to me, who repents to you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O lover of men who wishes all to be saved, in your goodness recall me and receive me, who repents. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Give ear to the sighs and groans of my soul, and accept the drops of my eyes, O Savior, and save me. Spotless Mother of God, only all him virgin, pray intensely that we may be saved. Tear yourself from your former sin and fear him as the avenger 
and as your judge and God. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Whom do you resemble, O most sinful soul? Surely the first Cain and that wicked Lamech. For you have stoned your body with evil deeds, and you have murdered your mind with irrational appetite. Have mercy on me, O God. Running through all who live before the law, my soul, you have not been like Seth, nor imitated Enos, nor Enoch, by translation, nor Noah, but you are seen to be bereft of the life of the righteous. You have alone opened the cataracts of the wrath of God, my soul and have flooded as the earth all your flesh and actions and life, and have remained outside the ark of salvation. Mercy on me, O God, and mercy on me. I have killed a man to the wounding of myself, said Lamech, and a young man to my own hurt. He cried out, wailing, but you, my soul, do not tremble while polluting the flesh, and defiling the mind. Oh, how I have emulated that old murderer Lamech. By my pleasure loving cravings, I have killed my soul as the man, my mind as the young man, and my body as my brother, like Cain the murderer. would have contrived to build a tower, my soul, and erect a stronghold for your lust, had not the Creator confounded your plans and brought your schemes crashing to earth. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. I am struck and wounded. See the arrows of the enemy with which my soul and body are pierced all over. See the wounds, the sores, and the mutilations that cry out and betray the blows of my self-chosen passion. Mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Lord rained fire from the Lord of old and burnt up the wanton wickedness of Sodom. But you, my soul, have kindled the fire of hell in which you are about to be bitterly burned. Mercy on me, O God, that I am God who searches hearts, punishes thoughts, reproves actions, and burns sins, and judges the orphan, the humble, and the poor. You stretched out your hands to the merciful God, O Mary, when sunk in the lowest vices, and he who by every means was seeking your conversion lovingly stretched out a helping hand as to Peter. With all eagerness and love you ran to Christ, abandoning your former way of sin and being nourished in the untrodden wilderness. You chastely fulfilled his divine commandments. Let us see, let us see, O soul, our Lord and God's love for men. So before the end, let us fall down before him with tears and cry, by the prayers of Andrew, O Savior, have mercy on us. Unoriginate, uncreated trinity, indivisible unity, accept me who repents, save me who has sinned, I am your creation, despise me not, but spare me and deliver me from the fire of condemnation. Lord, I never end unto ages of ages. Amen. Spotless Lady, Mother of God, hope of those who run to you in haven of those in distress, obtain grace for me from the merciful one, your Son and Creator, by your prayers. Burnt 
up the former land of Sodom. Escape to the mountain like Lot, my soul, and make so our your refuge in time. Run from the burning, my soul, run from the heat of Sodom, run from the destruction of the divine flame. I confess to you, O Savior, I have sinned, I have sinned against you, but absolve and forgive me in your compassion. I alone have sinned against you, sinned above all men, O Christ my Savior. Spurn me not. You are the good shepherd, seek me your lamb, and neglect not me who has gone astray. You are my sweet Jesus, you are my creator. In you, O Savior, I shall be justified. O Trinity, Unity, God, save us from delusion and temptations and distressing circumstances. Rejoice, O God, receiving womb. Rejoice, throne of the Lord. Rejoice, Mother of our lives. And from my heart I cry to you before my end. I have sinned. Be merciful. Save me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have imitated those who were licentious in Noah's time, and I have earned a share in their condemnation of drowning in the flood. Have mercy on me, O God. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned against you. Be merciful to me, for there is no one who has sinned among men whom I have not surpassed by my sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have imitated Ham, that spurner of his father, my soul. You have not concealed your neighbor's shame by returning to him, looking backwards. Have mercy on me, O God. have not inherited Shem's blessing, wretched soul, nor have you received that vast possession like Japheth in the land of forgiveness. Come out, my soul, from sin, from the land of Haran. Come into the land of eternal life, flowing with incorruption, which Abraham inherited. You have heard, my soul, how Abraham of old left the land of his fathers and became a nomad. Imitate his resolution. At the oak of Mamre, the patriarch entertained angels and inherited in his own old age the spoil of the promise. Knowing my wretched soul, how Isaac was mystically offered to the Lord as a new sacrifice and holocaust, imitate his resolution. You have heard of Ishmael, be watchful, my soul, who was driven out as the son of a slave girl. 
Beware, lest you suffer something similar by your lusting. You, my soul, have become like Hagar, the Egyptian of old. You have become enslaved by your own choice and have a new Ishmael, stubborn self will. You know my soul of the ladder shown to Jacob reaching from earth to heaven. Why have you not clung to the sure step of piety? Imitate that priest of God and solitary king who was an image of the life of Christ in the world among men. Do not be a pillar of salt, my soul, by turning back, but let the example of the sodomites frighten you and take refuge up in Zohar. Run, my soul, like Lot from the fire of sin. Run from Sodom and Gomorrah. Run from the flame of every irrational desire. Have mercy, O Lord, have mercy on me, I implore you. When you come with your angels to requite us all as our actions deserve. Reject not the prayer of those who praise you, O Lord. Have compassion on us, O lover of men. And to those who ask with faith, grant forgiveness. I am hard pressed by the waves and billows of my sins, Mother. But now bring me safely through and lead me to the haven of divine repentance. Offering a fervent prayer at this time to the compassionate Mother of God, O Saint. By your intercession, open to me the divine right of entry. By your prayers, grant me release from my debts, O Andrew, prelate of Crete, for you are an unsurpassed guide to the mysteries of repentance. Simple, uncreated unity, unoriginate nature, praise in the Trinity of Persons. Save us from the faith, worship your power. O Mother of God, unwedded, you gave birth in time to the timeless Son of the Father, and O strange wonder, you remained a virgin while suckling him. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. For thou art our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
and practicing the virtues with an eager heart. And so may we attain to see the glorious resurrection of Christ our God, bringing to Him glory and praise. Now and ever and unto ages of ages of men,
your works and forsake not your creation, O just judge and lover of men. Though I alone have sinned as a man more than any man, but being Lord of all, you have power to pardon sin. The end is drawing near, my soul is drawing near, but you neither care nor prepare. The time is growing short, rise, the judge is near at the very doors. Like a dream, like a flower, the time of this life passes. Why do you bustle about in vain? Come to your senses, my soul. Consider the deeds you have done and bring them before your eyes and pour out the drops of your tears. Boldly tell your thoughts and deeds to Christ and be acquitted. There has never been a sin or act or vice in life that I have not committed, O Savior. I have sinned in mind, word, choice, in purpose, will, and action, as no one else has ever done. Therefore I am condemned, wretch that I am. Therefore I am doomed by my own conscience, than which there is nothing in the world more rigorous. O my judge and redeemer who knows my heart, spare and deliver and save me, your servant. The ladder of old which the great patriarch saw my soul is a model of mounting by action and ascent by knowledge. So if you wish to live in activity, knowledge, and contemplation, be renewed. Because of his crying need, the patriarch endured the scorching heat of the day, and he bore the frost of the night, daily making gains, shepherding, struggling, slaving, in order to win to wives. By the two wives, understand action and direct knowledge and contemplation. Leah as action, for she had many children. And Rachel as knowledge, which is obtained by much labor. For without labors, my soul, neither action nor contemplation will achieve success. Watch my soul, be courageous like the great patriarchs, that you may acquire activity and awareness, and be a mind that sees God, and may reach in contemplation the innermost darkness, and be a great traitor. My body is defiled, my spirit is sullied, and I am all covered with sores. But as the physician of Christ, heal, wash, and cleanse both body and spirit with repentance, and make me, my Savior, purer than snow. You have laid down your body and blood for all, O crucified word, your body in order to renew me, your blood in order to wash me, and you surrendered your spirit, O Christ, in order to bring me to the Father. You have wrought salvation in the midst of the earth, O merciful Creator, that we may be saved. You were voluntarily crucified on the tree. Eden that was closed is open. Things on high and below, creation and all people, are saved and worship you. May the blood and water that wells from your side be a font for me and a drought of forgiveness, that I may be cleansed, anointed, and refreshed by both as with drink and sad unction, by your living words, O I am bereft of the bridal hall. I am bereft of the marriage and supper. My lamp has gone out for want of oil. 
The door has been locked while I was asleep, and the supper is eaten. And I bound hand and foot and cast outside. The church has acquired your life, giving sight as a chalice from which gushes forth for us a twofold torrent of forgiveness and knowledge. As a type of the two covenants, old and new, O our Savior. Grief is my life and full of pain and wickedness, but accept me in penitence and recall me to awareness of you. May I never be the possession or fruit of the enemy, O Savior. Have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Boastful I am and hard-hearted, all in vain and for nothing. Condemn me not with a Pharisee, but rather grant me the humility of the publican. O only merciful and just judge, and number me with his. I have sinned, I know, O merciful Lord, and outright outrage the vessel of my flesh. But accept me in penitence and recall me to awareness of you. May I never be the possession or fruit of the enemy. O Savior, have compassion on me. I am become my own idol and have injured my soul with passions, O merciful Lord. But accept me in penitence and recall me to the awareness of you. May I never be the possession or fruit of the enemy, O Savior. Have compassion on me. I have not listened to your voice. I have disobeyed your scripture, O lawgiver. But accept me in penitence and recall me to awareness of you. May I never be the possession or fruit of the enemy. O Savior, have compassion on me. By living a boundless life in a body, O Saint, you have truly received great grace from God to intercede for those who faithfully honor you. Therefore we implore you, deliver us by your prayers from trials of all kinds. Though dragged down to the depth of great offenses, you were not held there, but with better thought you returned by action to consummate virtue beyond all expectation. To the amazement of angel kind, O Mary. O Andrew, glory of the Father, standing before the transcendently divine Trinity, by your prayer, cease not to intercede that we who invoke you with love may be delivered from torment, O divine intercessor, adornment of creed. I confess you to be undivided in essence, unconfused in persons, one triune divinity, co enthroned and co reigning. I sing to you the great song. Christ so on high. You give birth and live a virgin life, and in both remain a virgin by nature. He who is born of you renews the laws of nature, and a womb gives birth without travail. Where God wills, the order of nature is overruled, for he does whatever he wishes.
I have passed my life ever in night, for the night of sin has been to me thick fog and darkness. But make me your Savior, a son of the day. Like Reuben, wretch that I am, I have planned an unprincipled and lawless act against God Most High. Having defiled my bed as he defiled that of his father. I confess to you, O Christ, my King, I have sinned, have sinned like Joseph's brothers of old, who sold the fruit of purity and chastity. Righteous Joseph was given up by his brothers, that sweet soul was sold into slavery as a type of the Lord, and you, my soul, have sold yourself completely to your vices. Imitate wretched and worthless soul, righteous Joseph and his pure mind, and do not be wanton with irrational desires, ever transgressing. If Joseph of old also occupied a pit of sovereign Lord, yet it was a type of your burial and rising, but will I ever offer you anything like it? You have heard my soul of Moses' ark of old, born on the waters and raves of the river as in a shrine, which escaped the bitter tragedy of Pharaoh's edict. If you have heard of the midwife's wretched soul, who of old killed at infancy, the manly issue and practice of chastity, then like the great Moses, suck wisdom. You, wretched soul, have not struck and killed your Egyptian mind like great Moses. Say then, how will you dwell in that desert solitude where the passions desert you through repentance? Great Moses dwelt in the wilds, my soul, so go and imitate his life that you too may attain by contemplation to the vision of God in the book. Imagine Moses' staff striking the sea and fixing the deep as a type of the divine cross, by which you too, my soul, can accomplish great things. Aaron offered to God the fire, pure and undefiled, but Hophni and Phinehas, like you, my soul, offered to God a foul and rebellious love. How heavy in character I have become in soul and body, like Jonas and Jambres in Pharaoh's bitter service, and my mind has sunk low. But help me, O Lord. <laughs> I, wretch that I am, have rolled my mind in mud. But wash me, O Lord, in the bath of my tears, I pray you, and make the robe of my flesh as white as snow. I examine my actions, O Savior, I see that I have gone beyond man in sins, for I have sinned with knowledge consciously and not in ignorance. Spare, spare, O Lord, your works, I have sinned, forgive me, for you alone are pure by nature, and apart from you there is none without defilement. God, for my sake, you took my form and worked miracles, healing lepers, embracing paralytics, and you stopped the flow of blood of the woman with hemorrhage, O Savior, through the touch of your hand. 
Imitate, wretched soul, the woman with hemorrhage. Run to Christ and hold his hem, that you may be healed of your maladies and hear from him. Your faith has saved you. Imitate my soul, the woman bent earthward. Come and fall down at the feet of Jesus, that he may straighten you to walk upright in the footsteps of the Lord. Though you are a deep well, O Lord, pour on me streams from your immaculate wounds, that like the Samaritan woman I may drink and thirst no more, for from you gush rivers of love. May my tears be a Siloam, O save, O sovereign Lord, that I may wash the eyes of my soul and mentally see you, who are the light which has which was before creation. You are all, you, all blessed one, yearned with matchless love and longing to worship the tree of life, and your desire was granted. Make us also worthy to attain to the glory on high. Having crossed Jordan's stream, you found rest by giving a wide berth to the deadening pleasure of the flesh, from which deliver us also by your prayers, O Saint. Eminent as the best of pastors, O wise Andrew, I pray you to you with great love and veneration that by your intercessions I may obtain salvation and eternal life. the one God, holy, holy are you, Father, Son, and Spirit, simple being, unity ever adore. From you, O pure maiden, mother and virgin, God who created the worlds and ages was clad in my clay and united to himself human nature. like a gazelle from the news. Let Moses' hand assure us, my soul, how God can whiten and cleanse a leprous life. So do not despair of yourself, even though you are leprous. The waves of my sins, O Savior, as in the Red Sea, Coiled and covered me unawares, like the Egyptian of old and their charioteers. 
Like Israel of old, my soul, you have had a foolish affection. For like a brute, you have preferred to divine manna, the pleasure-loving gluttony of the passion. The wells of Canaanite thoughts, my soul, you have prized above the rock with a cleft. From rich the river of wisdom, like a childless, pours forth streams of theology. Swine's flesh and hot pots and Egyptian food, you, my soul, have preferred to heavenly manna, as of old the senseless people in the wilderness. When your servant Moses struck the rock with his staff, mystically typifying your life-giving side, O Savior, from which we all draw the water of life. Explore and spy out the land of promise like Joshua, the son of Nun, my soul, and see what it is like and settle in it by observing the law. Rise and make war against the passions of the flesh as Joshua did against Amalek and ever conquer the Gibeonites in Lucifer. Pass through the flowing nature of time like the ark of old and take possession of the land that promised my soul. It is God's command. As you save Peter when he cried, save me, forestall and deliver me from the beast, O Savior. Stretch out your hand and raise me from the depths of sin. I know you as a calm haven, O Lord, Lord Christ. But forestall and deliver me from the innermost depths of sin and despair. I am the coin with the royal image which was lost of old, O Savior, but light the lamp your forerunner, O word. Seek and find your image. To extinguish the flame of the passions, O Mary, you ever shed rivers of tears and, and fire your soul with divine love. Grant also to me, your servant, the grace of tears. You acquired heavenly dispassion by your sublime life on earth, O Mother. Therefore, I pray that those who sing of you may be delivered from the grip of passion. Shepherd and prelate of Crete and intercessor for the world, O Andrew, I run to you and cry, Deliver me, Father, from the depths of sin. I am the Trinity, simple and undivided, divided personally, and I am the unity united in nature, says the Father, the Son, and the Divine Spirit. Your womb bore God for us who took our form. Implore him as the creator of all, O Mother of God, that through your intercession we may be justified. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. the Savior of our souls, and unto thee do we send of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Imitate his piety. You, my soul, have emulated Samson's easy going laxity and have shorn the glory of your deeds, and by love of pleasure have surrendered to the Philistines a chaste and blessed love. Conquered the Philistine with an ass's jawbone is now found to be a desolate slave of passionate intercourse. But avoid my soul his example, his action, and his laxity. Barak and Jephthah, military leaders with manly minded Deborah were promoted to be judges of Israel. Learn courage from their heroic deeds, my soul, and master yourselves. Be you know, my soul of Jael's bravery, who impales Sisera of old and wrought salvation with a tent peg. By which are you listening? The cross is typified to you. Offer the sacrifice of praise, my soul. Offer action as a daughter purer than Jephthah's, and slay your carnal passions as a sacrifice to your Lord. Think, my 
household of Gideon's flings, receive the dew from heaven, stoop down like a dog, and drink the water that flows from the law by the pressure of studying. for lack of understanding have drawn upon yourself the priest Eli's condemnation by allowing the passions to act sinfully in you as he allowed his children. The Levite among the judges by negligence divided his wife among the twelve tribes my soul in order to blaze in the lawless outrage of Benjamin. Chaste Hannah, when praying, moved her lips in praise while her voice was not yet heard. But yet, though barren, she bears a son her prayer deserves. the great Samuel was reckoned among the judges and he was brought up in Arimathea and in the house of the Lord. Imitate him my soul and before judging others, judge your own actions. J. David was chosen to be a king and he was royally anointed with a horn of divine oil. So if you, my soul, desire the kingdom on high, be anointed with the oil of tears. Have mercy on your creation, O merciful Lord. Have compassion on the work of your hands and spare all who have sinned, and even me who above all have ignored your commandments. both by generation and procession, the Father who begot I worship, I glorify the Son who is begotten, and I am the Holy Spirit, co effulgent with the Father and the Son. We worship your supernatural childbirth without dividing the natural glory of your child, O Mother of God. For he is confessed to be in one in person and twofold in nature. commandment for I have advanced in sins and added wounds to my sores but in your compassion have mercy on me O God of our Father I have confessed to you my judge the secrets of my heart see my humility see also my distress and attend to my judgment now and in your compassion have mercy on me O God of our Father, when Saul of old lost his father's asses, besides getting news of them, he incidentally found a kingdom. But watch my soul, lest without noticing it, you prefer your animal cravings to the kingdom of Christ. 
If David, the father of our divine Lord, doubly sinned of old my soul, when he was pierced with the hour of idol- adultery and struck with the spear of remorse for murder, yet you have a sickness graver than deeds in your will and appetite. David once joined sin to sin, for he mixed adultery with murder, yet he immediately offered double repentance. But you, my soul, have done things more wicked without repenting to God. David of old composed a song, painting it as in a picture, by which he exposes the deed he had done crying, Have mercy on me, for against you only have I sinned, who are God of all. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When the ark was being carried on a wagon, and when one of the oxen slipped, Uzzah only touched it and experienced the wrath of God. But avoid my, avoid my soul, his presumption, and truly reverence divine things. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have heard of Absalom and how he rose against nature. You know his accursed deeds and how he insulted the bed of his father David. But you have imitated his passionate and pleasure-loving cravings. You have enslaved your free dignity to your body, my soul. You have found in Satan another Ahithophel, and have consented to his counsels. But Christ himself scattered them, that you may at all events be saved. Wonderful Solomon, who was full of the grace of wisdom, at one time did evil in God's sign and fell away from him, and you, my soul, have resembled him by your cursed love. Carried away by the pleasure of his passions, he defiled himself. Alas, the lover of wisdom is a lover of loose women and estranged from God. And you, my soul, have in mind imitated him by your shameful pleasure. You, my soul, have rivaled Rehoboam, who would not listen to his father's advisers, and that vicious slave Jeroboam, the apostate of old. But shun such mimicry and cry to God, I have sinned. Have compassion on me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. You have rivaled Ahab in defilements, my soul. Alas, you have been a lodging place of fleshly pollutions and a shameful vessel of passions. But grown from your depths and tell God your sins. Have mercy on me, O God. Elijah once burned a hundred of Jezebel's flunkies when he had destroyed her shameful prophets as a proof and rebuke for Ahab. But avoid imitating these two, my soul, and master yourself. Heaven is closed to you, my soul, and the famine of God has reached you. For you have been disobedient, as was Ahab of old, to the words of Elijah the Tishbite. But be like the woman of Sarepta, and feed the prophet's soul. You have piled up sins like Manasseh by deliberate choice, my soul, setting up your passions as idols and multiplying abominations. But now fervently emulate his repentance and acquire compunction. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall down before you and bring you as tears my words. I have sinned like the harlot and transgressed as no other on earth. But have compassion, O Lord, on your work and recall me. Have mercy on me, O God. 
I have buried your image and broken your commandment. All my beauty is darkened, and my lamp is extinguished by my passions, O Savior. But have compassion and restore it to me, as David sings joy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Return, repent, uncover what is hidden. Say to God who knows everything, You know my secrets, O only Savior. But have mercy on me, as David sings, According to your mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. My days have vanished like a dream on waking. Therefore I weep on my bed like Hezekiah, that years may be added to my life. But what Isaiah will come to you, my soul, except the God of all. By crying to the Immaculate Mother of God, you repelled the rage of passions, which once violently harassed you and put to shame the enemy tempter. But now grant me your servant, also help out of trouble. He whom you love, he whom you desire, he on whose track you came, Mother, found you and granted you repentance, for he is God, who alone is compassionate. Implore him unceasingly to deliver us from passions and adversity. Venerable Father, and your great God for us. Strengthen me on the rock of faith by your intercessions, O Father, and wall and fortify me with an odd sense of the divine indwelling, and grant me repentance, O Andrew. And I implore you to deliver me from the snares of foes, actively seeking my life. O Trinity, simple and undivine, and of one essence and one nature, lights and light, three holies and one holy, God the Trinity is hymned, but sing my soul and glorify the life and lives, the God of all. Now let the to ages of ages, amen. We sing of you, we bless you, we worship you, O Mother of God, for you gave birth to one of the inseparable Trinity, the one Son and God, and to us on earth you have opened the heavenly realm. Architect, 
you have built a whole church, and within it you bless Christ throughout all ages. Apostles of Christ, pray to God for us. Sounding the trumpets of the dogmas, the apostles have overthrown all the error of idolatry, exalting Christ throughout all ages. Apostles of Christ, pray to God for us. The noble company of the apostles, guardians of the world and citizens of heaven, deliver from danger those who ever sing your praises. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O threefold Son, all radiant sovereignty of God, all nature, one in glory, one in throne, Father, all creating, Son, and Spirit of God, I sing of you forever. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us praise in ceaseless song the Mother of God, as a throne most honored and most high. O you people, for after childbirth, she alone is both mother and virgin. conversion accept me who repent have compassion on me as I cry against you only have I sinned and act this lawlessly have mercy on me have mercy on me O God have mercy on me Elijah the charioteer once ascended by the chariot of the virtues as to heaven and was carried above earthly things consider then my soul this is sad. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Jordan's stream of old was made to stand still on either side by Elisha, by Elisha's sheepskin. But you, my soul, have not shared this grace owing to incontinence. Have mercy on me, O God, <laughs> and have mercy on me. Elisha received double grace from the Lord when he took up Elijah's sheepskin. But you, my soul, have not shared this grace owing to incontinence. The Shunammite woman of old with right goodwill entertained the righteous man. But you, my soul, have taken into your house neither stranger nor traveler. Therefore, you will be cast out of the bridal hall, wailing. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You have always imitated the vile mind of Gehazi, O wretched soul. Rid yourself of his love of money, at least in old age. Escape from the fire of Gehenna by leaving your evil way. Have mercy on me, O God. Having emulated his eye in my soul, you have his leprosy and you doubled. For you think disgusting thoughts and do outrageous things. Let go of what you are holding and run to repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Have you heard, my soul, the Ninevites who repented before God in sackcloth and ashes? You have not imitated them, but appeared to be more crooked than all who have sinned before and after the law. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. You have heard of Jeremiah in the mud pit, my soul. He cried out with lamentations against the city of Zion and was seeking tears. Imitate his life of lamentation 
and you will be saved. Jonah fled to Tarshish, foreseeing the conversion of the Ninevites. For being a prophet, he was aware of God's compassion and was anxious that his prophecy should not prove false. You have heard my soul of Daniel in the lion's den and how he shut the beast's mouth. You know how the children who were with Azariah extinguished the flames of the burning furnace by faith. <laughs> I have reviewed all the people of the Old Testament as examples for you, my soul. Imitate the God-loving deeds of the righteous and shun the sins of the wicked. Just Judge and Savior, have mercy on me and deliver me from the fire and the threat which I shall justly incur at the judgment. Forgive me before my end by virtue and repentance. Like the robber I cry, remember me. Like Peter I weep bitterly. Release me, O Savior, I croak like the publican. I weep like the harlot. Accept my lamentation as once the Canaanite woman. O Savior, the corruption of my debased soul, O only physician, apply the compress to me and the oil and wine, works of repentance, compunction, and tears. Imitating the woman of Canaan, I also cry, Have mercy on me, O son of David. I touch your hem like the woman with hemorrhage, I weep like Martha and Mary. Over Lazarus. The alabaster jar of my tears, O Savior, I pour out on your head as the perfume. And like the harlot, I cry to you, seeking your mercy. I offer prayer and ask to receive forgiveness. Though no one has sinned against you as I, yet accept even me, O compassionate Savior. Repenting with fear and crying with love, against you only have I sinned, I have done wrong. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Spare, O Savior, your own creation, and seek as shepherd your lost sheep. Snatch the stray from the wolf, and make me a pet lamb, in your sheep pasture. When you sit as judge and in your compassion show your dread glory, O Christ. Oh, what fear there will be then when the furnace is burning and all shrink from your inexorable tribunal. Mother of the unwavering light enlightened you and freed you from the darkness of the passions. So now you are admitted to the grace of the Spirit. Enlighten, O Mary, those who faithfully praise you. Beholding in you a new wonder, O Mother Divine, Zosima was truly amazed, for he saw an angel in a body and filled with utter astonishment. He praises Christ forever. As you have boldness with the Lord, O Andrew, venerable credit of cream, intercede, I implore you, that by your prayers I may now find release from the chain of my sins, O teacher of repentance, glory of the saints. Eternal Father, co-eternal Son, gracious Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Father of the Divine Word, Word of the Eternal Father, Living and Creative Spirit, Unity, Trinity, 
have mercy on us. As from scarlet silk, O spotless virgin, within your womb the spiritual purple was woven, the flesh of Emmanuel. Therefore we honor you in truth, Mother of God. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting
refreshment to my soul that faints from the thirst of sin. Apostles of Christ, pray to God for us. I am drowning as I flounder in the deluge of sin. With your right hand, O Lord, save me as you saved Peter. Apostles of Christ, pray to God for us. You are the salt that gives savor to the teachings of salvation. Dry the rottenness of my mind and dispel the darkness of my ignorance. Most holy depths of God, save us. Lady, you have brought forth our joy. Grant me the spirit of mourning that in the coming day of judgment I may be comforted by God. to try your case. I have reviewed Moses' account of the creation of the world, my soul, and then all canonical scriptures, which tells you the story of the righteous and the unrighteous. But you, my soul, have copied the latter and not the former, and have sinned against God. The law has grown weak, the gospel is unpracticed, the whole of scripture is ignored by you. The prophets and every word of the just have lost their power. Your words, my soul, have multiplied, 
and there is no physician to heal you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. I am bringing you before the examples of the new scripture, my soul, to lead you to compunction. So emulate the righteous and avoid following the sinners and regain Christ's grace by prayers, fast, purity, and reverence. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Christ became man and called to repentance robbers and harlots. Repent, my soul, the door of the kingdom is already open, and the transformed Pharisees, publicans, and adulterers are seizing it ahead of you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Christ became a babe and conversed in the flesh with me, and he voluntarily experienced all that pertains to our nature apart from sin, and he showed you, my soul, an example and image of his own condescension. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Christ saved wise men, called shepherds, made crowds of infants, martyrs, glorified old men and aged widows, whose deeds and life, my soul, you have not emulated, but woe unto you, when you are judged. When the Lord had fasted for forty days in the wilderness, he at last became hungry, showing his human nature. Do not be despondent, my soul, if the enemy attacks you, but let him be beaten off by prayer and fasting. Christ was tempted, the devil was tempting him, showing him stones to be turned into bread. And he led him up to a mountain to see all the kingdoms of the world in a flash. Dread my soul to see, watch and pray at every hour to God. Have mercy on me. The desert loving dove, the lamp of Christ, the voice crying in the wilderness sounded, preaching repentance. While Herod sinned with Herodias, see, my soul, that you are not caught in the toils of sin, but embrace repentance. The forerunner of grace dwelt in the desert, and all Judea and Samaria ran to hear him. And they confessed their sins and eagerly received baptism. But you, my soul, have not imitated them. Marriage is honorable and the bed undefiled for Christ earlier blessed both eating in his flesh at the marriage in Cana and changing water into wine and showing his first miracle so that you, my soul, might be changed. Christ graced the paralytic and he carried his bed. He raised up the dead young man, the son of the widow and the centurion servant. And by revealing himself to the Samaritan woman, he traced in advance for you, my soul, how to worship in spirit. The Lord healed the woman with hemorrhage by the touch of his hem, cleansed lepers, gave sight to the blind, and cured cripples. The deaf and the dumb and the woman bent earthward, he healed with his word, that you wretched soul, might be saved. Christ the Word healed diseases, preached the gospel to the poor, cured cripples, ate with publicans, conversed with sinners, and he brought back the departed soul of Jairus' daughter by the touch of his hands. The publican was saved, the harlot was made chaste, but the Pharisee through boasting was condemned. For the first said, Be merciful, the second, Have mercy on me. But the last boasted and cried, O God, I thank you, and then some foolish words. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Zacchaeus was a publican, but yet was healed, and Simon the Pharisee was disappointed. 
Let the harlot receive the release of full forgiveness from him who has power to forgive sins. Obtain his forgiveness yourself, my soul. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. You, my wretched soul, have not emulated the harlot who took the alabaster jar of perfumed oil and anointed with tears and wiped with her hair the feet of the Savior, who tore up for her the handwriting of her old accusation. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. You know how the towns to which Christ offered the gospel were cursed. Fear this example, my soul. Do not be like them, for the Lord compared them to the Sodomites and condemned them to hell. not let despair make you worse than the Canaanite woman, my soul, for you have heard of her faith through which her daughter was healed by the word of God. Call to Christ like her from the depth of your heart, Son of David, save me. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Have compassion and save me. Have mercy on me, O Son of David, who healed with a word the demoniac. And let your voice of tender compassion speak to me as to the robber. Today I tell you, you will be with me in paradise when I rise in my glory. A robber accused you and a robber confessed you to be God, for both were hanging on a cross with you. But open even to me, O most compassionate Savior, the door of your glorious kingdom, as to your faithful robber, who acknowledged you to be God. Have mercy on me, O God, and have mercy on me. Creation was in anguish, seeing you crucified, mountains and rocks were split with fear. The earthquake held was empty, and the light grew dark in the daytime. Beholding you, Jesus, nailed to the cross in your flesh. Have mercy on me. Do not require of me fruits worthy of repentance, for my strength is spent in me. Grant me ever a contrite contri heart and spiritual poverty, that I may offer these gifts to you as an acceptable sacrifice. O only Savior, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O my judge and my light, who alone lures me and is coming again with your angels to judge the whole world, regard me then with your merciful eye, and spare me, O Jesus, and have compassion on me, who have sinned more than all mankind. Amen. You astonished by your strange life, both the orders of angels and the counsels of men, by living immaterially and surpassing nature, then treading firmly the immaterial, the ways like an immaterial being, O Mary, you cross the Jordan. Intercede with the Creator on behalf of those who praise you, Holy Mother, that we may be delivered from the sufferings and afflictions which beset us on all sides, that being delivered from our temptations, we may unceasingly magnify the Lord who glorified you. Venerable Andrew, thrice blessed Father, Shepherd of Crete, Cease not to pray to God for those who sing of you, that he may deliver from anger, oppression, corruption, and our countless sins, all of you who faithfully honor your memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity of one essence, tri-personal unity, we sing your praise, glorifying the Father, magnifying the Son, and adoring the Spirit who are truly one God by nature, life and lives, kingdom unending. Now we have read unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Protect your city, spotless Mother of God, for in you it faithfully reigns, and in you is made strong, and through you it conquers and routs every trial and temptation, and spoils its foes, and rules its subjects. So God, by your grace, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For all the heavenly powers praise thee and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let Israel be glad in him who made him. 
and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dance, with tambourine and harp. Let him sing, let them sing to him, for the Lord is pleased with his people, and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. The holy ones shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal retribution to the nations, reproving among the people, peoples, to shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to fulfill among them the written judgment. His glory have all his holy ones. Praise God and his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the abundance of his greatness. Praise him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with triumphant cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Alleluia. For to you, O Lord our God, belongs glory, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you who has shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You that take away the sins of the world, accept our prayer. You that sit on the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever, even unto ages of ages. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, you have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light shall we see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. O despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. God, the holy, perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Peace of faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon every mission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. blameless and peaceful and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ let us ask of the Lord Heaven great and most holy most pure most blessed and glorious lady Theotokos and ever virgin Mary with all the saints let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God mankind and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. O Holy Lord, you dwell high and look upon the humble and with your all 
seeing eye, you look down on all creation, and to you have we bowed the neck of our soul and body. And we pray to you, O Holy of Holies, stretch forth your invisible hand from your holy dwelling place, and bless us all. And if in any way we have sinned, either willingly or unwillingly, pardon us, inasmuch as you are good and love mankind, granting us your good things in this world and beyond this world. For yours it is to have mercy on us and to save us, O our God, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ our 
God, the existing one is blessed, all wings now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, establish the Orthodox Christians, confirm the faith, quiet the heathen, give peace to the world, place our departed fathers and brethren in the mansions of the righteous, and accept the sorrows and penitence, for you are good and the lover of mankind. O Lord and Master of my life, Take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. We give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy for me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy for me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy for me. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. We give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, Grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom most holy, fair talk of save us. Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop of Mir and Lycia, the patron of this holy temple, of our venerable John, the elder of the ancient caves in Palestine, whom we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Adam, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. 